Welcome back to my channel, Survive and Thrive. I'm here to talk about a company I haven't covered on my YouTube channel yet. That company is Google, ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L, also known as Alphabet. And I know everybody saw the news last week with the announcement of their Q4 revenue earnings report as well as the stock split. But I wanna focus on a few key details that I don't think some of you are aware of. Going through some of the details on fourth quarter reportings, Alphabet reports big fourth quarter beat, stock pops. Alphabet beat on the top and bottom lines for the fourth quarter. The stock jumped in extended trading after that report. The company at that same time also announced a 20 for one stock split. And here are the key numbers. Earnings per share, $30.69 versus $27.34 expected. Revenue, $75.33 billion versus $72.17 billion expected. YouTube advertising revenue, $8.63 billion versus $8.87 billion. Google cloud revenue, $5.54 billion versus $5.47 billion expected. Traffic acquisition costs, 13.43 billion versus 12.84 billion expected. So the only one they narrowly missed on was the YouTube advertising revenue. And they reported a revenue growth of 32%, proving again that it was able to withstand the pressures from the pandemic as well as inflation. The results follow a year of outperformance. The stock surged 65% last year, beating all other big tech companies and more than tripling gains in the S&P 500. Google's advertising revenue came in at $61.24 billion for the quarter, up 33% from $46.2 billion in the same period a year earlier. So very interesting to see the wealth of growth that Google continues to have. And I think that there's timing that should be considered, whether or not you want to add to holdings or look for an opportunity to enter into this one. And for me personally, I'll talk about my strategy given what else I've got going on as far as positions out there and companies I want to chase. In this Motley Fool article, it covers three reasons to buy Alphabet stock before its stock split. The key points, companies that split stocks tend to perform well over the short run. Alphabet has several business segments that are beginning to heat up. The amount of cash Alphabet generates and has on its balance sheet is reason enough to invest. Google has proven quarter after quarter why it's one of the best businesses on earth. The Google search engine, YouTube, and Google Cloud parent company has a nearly $2 trillion market cap, making it the third largest company in the U.S. During its fourth quarter earnings report issued on February 1st, Alphabet announced an astounding $75 billion in revenue for the quarter and $257 billion for the entire year. These mind-boggling numbers became even crazier when the 32% quarterly and 41% annual year-over-year -year growth rates are accounted for. Still, these fantastic results were overshadowed by management's announcement to split the stock 20 for one. The nearly $3,000 stock will begin trading for around 150 after the 4th of July holiday in 2022. Cash stockpiles and generation, as of December 31st, 2021, Alphabet had a jaw-dropping $139.6 billion in cash and marketable securities on its balance sheet and a mere $14.9 billion in debt. Having a war chest sitting around enables Alphabet to purchase whatever it wants. Alphabet may go shopping for a company to fulfill their desire for the blockchain solution related to Web3, which could fuel a metaverse push. Should Alphabet blow even half its cash on an acquisition, investors shouldn't fear. Alphabet will just generate more next year. Throughout 2021, Alphabet converted 67 billion of its 257 billion in revenue into free cash flow. If it doesn't spend its money on acquisitions, management may repurchase more stock. They repurchase 50 billion throughout 2021. Regardless of what management decides, Alphabet's cash hoard and generation make it a fantastic investment. The sun is starting to shine through Google's cloud. In a battle for cloud computing supremacy, Google has not overcome Amazon's web services and Microsoft's Azure's leads. However, Google Cloud is far from a lackluster segment. During Q4, its quarterly revenue grew 45%, over to $5.5 billion and increased at a 47% clip throughout 2021. 
Google and YouTube are category leaders. As you can see here for the segment, Google search engine, their market share is 86%, YouTube 76%. Now, if we look at advertisers spending, they spend heavily on these platforms. Google search, 43.3 billion, Q4 2021 revenue, year over year growth at 36%, YouTube ads, 8.6 billion, 25% year over year growth. So very astounding numbers for an ad service business. But as this article states, I see them continuing to build on that growth in the years to come. I think personally for me, part of my strategy is going to be to wait. We've got time before they really make the formalized decision that they are going to make that stock split. And that's not happening until July 1st, if this gets approved. And so, it is very expensive at this time per share, and I've got other opportunities out there that I'm trying to chase and build up my positions on. And so since I do not currently have a holdings within Google, then it makes better sense for me personally to look at that time when it becomes relatively cheaper to be able to acquire the shares and build the holdings that I really want. The stock isn't anywhere near its valuation peak, even though it is close to setting all-time highs, and that should ease fears about buying a stock with inflated valuations, as 26 times earnings is nowhere near expensive for the company. Alphabet is a strong buy regardless of which way investors view the stock. Those who hold onto the stock for three to five years will reap the benefits of a stock split, potential stock buybacks, an acquisition or two, and a lot of cash generated. Alphabet is a no-brainer stock, and it's one that I've been watching for a long time. I just, like I said, haven't really gotten into it because it is so expensive, and I had already put a lot of my resources into Amazon. But it is one now that is starting to come back around, especially with this announcement of the stock split, that I really think is going to attract investors such as myself, people who may have been on the fence about investing, but now have the opportunity to do so. What you should know about this 20 per one stock split, there's no denying that Google is one of the most recognized companies in the world. Google has become synonymous with search and the name has become a verb in the process, Google it. Its impressive business performance has also given rise to a surging stock price. Alphabet shares climbed 65% in 2021 and are up an impressive 266% and 927% over the preceding five and 10 year periods. This pushed the stock price to near $3,000 per share, but it's about to get a whole lot cheaper. This will be the first stock split that they've had in eight years, and this will bring on a fresh wave of interest to the tech giant and its stock. It also raises a number of questions of interest for investors involving just how a stock split works and what that means for investors. Now here's some of the details. The parent company of Google said that its board of directors had approved a 20 for one stock split. This will take place in the form of a special dividend which will be subject to a shareholder approval. Assuming Alphabet investors approve this measure, shareholders of record as of July 1st, 2022 will receive an additional 19 shares of stock for each share they own after the close of business on July 15th. So those are the two dates. July 1st is when this would go into effect with an ex-dividend date of July 15th. So if you're going to make a move on this company, you're gonna to wanna to do so before July 1st so that you take advantage of those dividends. And in this case, those dividends are the additional 19 shares for every share that you own. Now to give some perspective, let's add some numbers for context. For each share of Alphabet stock an investor owns, currently trading for almost $3,000 per share, post-split shareholders will own 20 shares worth $150 each. So it's similar to what Apple has done and really brought down the accessibility of investors to be able to get involved. And that's really what Alphabet Google was after with making this announcement. Does that mean a stock split is a good thing? A quick review of the example provided above shows that the total value of their shares doesn't change. One share of Alphabet stock priced at $3,000 is worth the same amount as 20 shares worth 150. 20 times 150 equals $3,000. The pizza analogy is probably the best way to illustrate this. When you buy a pizza, it doesn't matter if you cut it into 10 slices or 20 slices, you still end up with the same amount of pizza to eat. Likewise, Alphabet stockholders will simply have a greater number of lower price shares 
or in the example of the pizza, pizza slices. Does that mean alphabet stock is a buy? While the stock split in and of itself doesn't signal that alphabet stock is a buy, there are plenty of other reasons to invest in the search giant. So we've already went over the earnings report and how they've absolutely stunned with the numbers that they've brought in. And so it really comes down to whether or not you're in a financial position to buy the stock at its current price, or if you're in an exchange that has a fractional share option, then you could just start to dollar cost average as we get later into the year towards summer and still take advantage of that stock split benefit. Like I said, personally for me, I'm going to wait. I've got some other companies out there that I'm trying to really build holdings in as we get later into this year and I get some more cash flow coming in. And as we get closer to the summer months, I'll really be focusing in on Alphabet Google and looking for my time to really load up on this company and the shares. Now, one great company out there, if you are looking for an exchange that offers you fractional share opportunity is M1 Finance. And so I will put a suggestion link here. You can take a look at this video that I've done coverage on this particular exchange. And also down in my description below, there is a referral link where you can take advantage of signing up and we both get added benefit from that. So go ahead and check that out. Lastly here, like we talked about, roughly $3,000 per share, $28.65 as of the date of this video. And it's up 243% in the past five years. If we go back to the year chart, they're up 37%. Six months, 4.6%. So they presented some pretty decent numbers. Now we don't really know exactly where they're going to land when they get to July 1. So it could be even more than $150 per share, but I would assume we would still be under the $200 per share mark. And even at $200 per share, you could still build a decent holding. That's what I had that I wanted to cover today. I know that there have been a lot of other videos out there in the last week on YouTube that I've seen, but I don't think that everybody has readily understood that July 1st and July 15th are key dates that you wanna watch for, as well as really understanding how that stock split share works and when is the right opportunity for you really to buy in. Please leave any comments below to discuss further anything that I've talked about today. And if you've gotten value out of the video, as always, smash that like button. Let's get this video out to as many YouTube viewers as we can and continue to build this channel in the YouTube community. I'm up to almost 150 subscribers looking for that next milestone at 500. But before that, we've got to get to 250. So share this with your friends. Make sure that we work together in the year 2022 to make it a green year, even with all the volatility. Keep your ears low to the ground. Look for those chances and spots to buy in when it makes sense. And don't just survive, thrive.